Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This is just a demonstration video of my new solar tracker kit. I've optimized it for power consumption and I've also turned it into a PCB. There's actually two PCBs as part of this kit. Uh, the main driver PCB and control PCB and the sensor board PCB. So if you've seen my recent uh, videos for my solar tracker kits, it works the exact same way but there's a couple new functions. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you something before I start the video. I've designed the sensor board PCB so that you can essentially cut it into three pieces. Now I haven't done it for this video, but when I do the assembly video I will do it. You'll see the bridges here and here. There are bridges for, and, and what you can do is those are actually sensor uh, sensing lines so you, you need to keep those connected whether or not you decide to cut your print circuit board. But the best way to, to do this is to cut the circuit board on uh, on these lines here and here and if you have since you have those jumpers on the back you can bend them out so the left sensor is facing more of an angle right sensor is facing more of an angle as you can see we've got our whiskers here our sensing whiskers that when touching our stoppers uh, on the side here tell you that tell, tell the module that has gone too far uh, some of the newer uh, there, I, what I've done is I've also added in a an algorithm that uh, after each sample from the three sensors, if it's too dark, the, sen the, the module shuts down until there's light again. And so there's extremely little power consumption. We're talking, we're talking less than 25 milliamps when it moves. So, um, and if it's stay, if, if 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 the middle sensor is receiving the most light, the module shuts down. It doesn't shut down, but it does not move, and there's no current being con uh, consumed by the motor. So if you have your, if you're imaginative, you can put your solar your solar panel on here. You know, a little solar panel. Uh, you know, you can feed power back to your battery system. Now, um, another thing to note. I have added a way to fasten the sensor board to the stepper motor. There's, you can't see because I have added a bit of glue just for stability. But there's four holes, so you can put two wires through it to hold it into place. And I just added some glue because I'm a glue freak. I like using the, uh, I like using glue just to keep things simple. But if you're more mechanically inclined than I am, you can create a better fixture to hold the uh, motor, which is actually quite powerful considering all things considered, to your sensor board and have a a little solar panel on top. That, that's if you're adventurous. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. Um, again, it functions much better if you cut the uh, uh, if you cut the, um, the the two sides and bend them outwards. Uh, and because we're using just ambient light in the room, we're not using sunlight. Uh, I'm going to try to use my supercapacitor flashlight to get it to follow to follow me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to power it on. And here's the neat thing. This is because there's not much light in here. Uh, we just got a uh, we've just got an incandescent light. It's not enough light to actually charge anything properly. So why would the sensor? Why would the device want to waste energy? So I'm going to press the start button. All you got to do is press the button and it starts. But why isn't it moving? It's not moving because I don't have any significant light on it. So enter a trusty supercapacitor flashlight. middle sensor and as you can see I've got my whiskers here and here and if my whiskers touch my stopper it stops and it tries again but it waits a second we'll have a move over this way so I've really improved the uh, the program and uh, when I actually do the assembly video on this, I will be doing a, uh, I will be cutting off the sides and bending them out, like I had in my first version. So I hope I hope you liked it. I'm going to turn this off, and of course, because there's not much light in here, the module itself essentially turns off. It needs enough light to operate. So I hope you enjoy this one. This is one of my favorites. And uh, if you're interested in it, it will be available in a couple days at engineeringshot.com and electroniclessons.com. Happy holidays, everybody.